I want to talk about something completely uncomplicated and super simple. The state of Israel. <laughs> I love Israel, and not just because it's technically my neighbor. No. <laughs> but also because it's the latest site of a Trump promise made and kept. I made a promise. <laughs> Months ago, Trump announced that he would be moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, a decision so bold it was condemned by many policy experts, saying it could provoke violent chaos or cause Armageddon. <laughs> but for a significant number of American evangelicals, that's not a bug, that's a feature. <laughs> The sooner Armageddon comes, the sooner evangelicals get to fly up to heaven. That's why they know to treat the planet like a gas station bathroom. So, so Trump made the promise. And you best believe the Fox News A-team went to Israel to watch him keep it. Donald Trump recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He, like King Cyrus before him, fulfilled the biblical prophecy of the gods worshiped by Jews, Christians, and yes, Muslims. Amen, Janine! Oh, woo! Yes. Trump is just like King Cyrus before him. It's well known that King Cyrus hated the Babylonian press and refused to apologize to John McCain. So, keep going, Janine. Jerusalem is the eternal capital of the Jewish state and that the Jewish people finally deserve a righteous, free, and sovereign Israel. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh, oh. I haven't seen a smoother transition since Jesus ended his Sermon on the Mount with, blessed are the peacemakers. All right, click to subscribe and hit me up on Snapchat. <laughs> Smooth. Woo. Now, if you've been watching the news, you may have noticed that there's been a little bit of pushback, by which I mean deadly clashes between Palestinians and the Israeli army. But if you've got a problem with moving the capital to Jerusalem, take it up with Lindsey Graham. We're rejecting the Obama model of tepid support. This means you got Israel's back. If you've got a problem with Jerusalem being the capital of Israel, take it up with God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Great answer. That's what I use all the time. Don't like my policies in the Middle East? Take it up with God. <laughs> Don't want me to use your pool while you're on vacation? <laughs> Sorry, Brent, take it up with God. <laughs> Curious as to why I've been emotionally distant for the last eight months? <laughs> take it up with God. <laughs> the point is, this embassy move is a good thing. And Trump celebrated this accomplishment by sending his chosen people to Israel, evangelical pastors from Texas. Robert Jeffress and John Hagee spoke at the ceremony today, and boy, were they the right choice. Just listen to Jeffress's bona fides. With Pastor offering a prayer at the embassy transfer ceremony, Robert Jeffress. Prompting Mitt Romney, uh, obviously a prominent Mormon, to tweet yesterday, Robert Jeffress says, you can't be saved by being a Jew, and Mormonism is heresy from the pit of hell. He said the same about Islam. Whoa. Nothing says peace in the Middle East like declaring Jewish people and Palestinians equal. <laughs> Lee deserving of hellfire. Yep. And as for John Hagee, Trump's other pastor from Texas and grimace for Jesus, he said in 2008 that Hitler had been fulfilling God's will by hastening the desire of Jews to return to Israel. A claim which makes so much sense, I see absolutely no reason to explore it further. So, thank you, Mr. President, and congrats on the new embassy, Jerusalem. Armageddon is probably right around the corner, but if you have a problem with that, take it up with God. <laughs>